Hi, I'm Doug here at Global West. And what I'm doing today is working in the back. And we're going to be installing a Monte Carlo bar on the Mustang. Now these Monte Carlo bars, this happens to be a TS2, which is a straight bar. And we have this one with a slight curvature to it, which actually goes over the distributor. That's a TS7. These bars fit 67 through 70 Mustang. So Monte Carlo bars keep the towers from folding in under hard cornering. They're very important for a performance application. So let's take a minute and go install one of these Monte Carlo bars on that 67 Mustang. So here's our 67. Now the Monte Carlo bar, if you'll notice, it's got a curvature to it. Now we're not a big fan of this because the load is going this direction. It's pushing in when you're going around turns, okay? I could get some deflection here without even really trying. And we want to avoid that. What we want to do is to get a straight bar as best we can to cover, or clear shall I say, the distributor here. On this particular car, the TS2 is going to work great because I got clearance. But if I had an aftermarket distributor where the distributor cap is a lot taller, the TS2 is not going to work. That's when we go to the TS7. So let's take this Monte Carlo bar off and get started putting ours on. I'm going to lift the front end up just a little bit so we can get my hand underneath there. All right, got some safety. This is a TS2. You'll notice here if one side's got a notch to it, right here, goes right around there. You can see how it fits. And then we're going to scribe where we need to mark our holes. And we'll use the same existing holes already in the fender onto the plate. And you can see them right there. I'm going to go ahead and drill these to 5 16 Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drill a hole here in this top plate for my, my final bolt. So there's a number of ways you could do it. You could position it anywhere you like. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just mark it off the same distance that what this is in relation to, to the top plate. So I have a caliper here. Which I'll take it over and do center line, catch the edge, and do center line of the, of the bolt. Just bring it back here. I'm going to go ahead and just do a slight etch into the powder coat. And we're doing the same thing here. We're going to catch the edge of the forward portion of the bracket, center line of the bolt, swing it to the back, just do a quick mark. And that's where my new point is where I'm going to drill my hole. And that's where she goes. Underneath here on this edge, there's nothing to hit. So you don't have to worry about it. All I really have to do now is install the Monte Carlo bar. And we talked about this earlier where I'm going to install the straight one, which is going to go right here and drop in. And these are right and left hand threads. So I can actually turn this to adjust it. Like that. And that's how it will look. And then we've got the, the washers and nuts for the back side right here. If you'll notice, there's plenty of clearance here between the top of the distributor and the bar. So since this is a standard height distributor, we're OK with this. This is not going to be a problem. However, if this was taller, we would have a problem. So let me show you what that would look like with the other style bar. So this side here doesn't have a ball in it. And we do that deliberately because we don't want this side to pitch. So once you tighten this down, because see, since we have a bend in it, so if I tried to rotate this, see, it'd be going back and forth like so. And that would make it difficult over here to align this up. So what we want to do is we want to set this up and adjust the length and then drop it in. And I try to make them equal on both sides when I do that. It's just a matter of lining everything up. Okay, 
Look at how much distance I got right here. And you still have hood clearance. But for the taller distributors, you're gonna need this to clear the wires. That's why we make the two different styles. So it really boils down to what distributor cap or distributor that you're using, whether it's tall or not. The installation is gonna be the same. For this particular car, we're gonna go back to the straight bar. And there you have it. All set, ready to go. All right, one of the other things we're gonna do on this car is we're gonna go ahead and change this export brace out. And we're gonna to go to our TS702 brace, which is a four bar brace. It's got Chevron joints on it, which allow for proper fit on the top of these towers. 67 and 68 towers have a slightly different angle here than 69 and 70. It's kind of interesting because this bar is used for all of them, which basically means it's gonna pull down and flex accordingly. When you do our four bar setup, that's not gonna happen. So we have Chevron joints that go in here that allow for that change, but once you tighten those things down, that bar is solid, it's not going anywhere. So that'll be our next step on the 67 Mustang.